Hi everybody, this is Walter Dodds and I'm from Kansas State University. This is an introductory video for a series of lectures for freshwater ecology or limnology. That is a study of streams, lakes, wetlands, ponds, reservoirs, essentially continental aquatic habitats including saline lakes, uh, hot springs, and some other unusual features. This series of lectures has been created for my class, but I hope to reach out to other people that are interested in learning about aquatic ecology and finding out more about the fundamentals. The basic idea here is for me to transmit my joy of the knowledge of limnology and freshwater ecology to as many people as possible. The lectures are based on a book called Freshwater Ecology. This is written by Matt Wiles and myself and covers all of the habitats that we talked about. Since the lecture is based on this book, the figures refer to the second edition of the book. But in addition to that, during the lectures, there, uh, at the bottom of the YouTubes, there will be a link where you can download the copies of the figures from the publisher's website. There are a number of other excellent resources out there you can use to find out about aquatic habitats. So for wetland, the ecology of freshwater and estuarine wetlands by Batzer and Sheritz is a good example. For stream ecology, Dave Allen and Maria Castillo have written a stream ecology book. For more ecological approaches to limnology, limno, limno ecology by Lampert and Sumner is a good source. There's some more strictly lake-centered books, and these include an Introduction to Limnology by Stan Dodson and Limnology by Jack Cow. There's an, some older texts out that are quite useful as well, the Limnology texts of Horn and Goldman, and then an extensive reference book, uh, Limnology, Lake and River Ecosystems by Bob Wessel, the third edition is the last. So with that, I just want to welcome you to the series of lectures and encourage you to contact me if you have suggestions for improvement, and particularly if you have suggestions for corrections in the textbook so we can continue to improve it as we move on uh, through teaching this class. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the next lectures.